So Mark, all things considered, is this a game you can look back on and think it were a point gained as opposed to two lost? Um, it's a good point against you know, they're, they're the team that the favourites to win the league. So I thought I thought both teams were pretty poor to be honest first half and I thought we were poorer than them. Um, you could see it was the fifth game in 15 days, the start of the season, you know, it's a, a, a ridiculous set schedule really. Um, and I think you could see that in the sloppiness in, in both teams really in, in the first half. Second half, wind got up, the pitch dried out uh, and it made it difficult to play any sort of good football. But um, I thought we were the, looked the stronger team when they scored, um, you know, go from nothing really. And then obviously we had a couple of great chances before we equalised. Uh, and I thought we you know, thoroughly deserved the point in the end with you know, the way we, we played in the second half. But um, yeah, you, you know, you come in, play the t come from behind against a team that everyone's saying they're going to win the league and we're disappointed really with a, with a point. But um, you know, you've got to take things into context really and consider the amount of football we've been playing, the amount of travelling we've done as well, two long, long trips we've had so far. Um, so all in all, you know, we've got to be pleased with, with the end result today and, and ultimately the 10 points from the first five games. Yeah, is that an indication as to the ambition that this team has that you can look at a draw against a team like Scott Pot County and think that you're not altogether pleased with it? Um, well, the lads have got standards, we know what they're capable of. I, I think it's fair to say that they didn't reach, most of the lads didn't reach those standards today. I think there's certainly reasons for that, like I say, the amount of games we've been playing. I think you can say the same about them as well. Um, going to every game thinking we've got a chance of, of winning and uh, but we're under you know, no illusion we, we need to get points on the board first and foremost to, to make sure that, that we're in this league next season and then as soon as we get to there then we, we can we can see what we you know, see how far up the table we can get we know we're up against it with, with against a lot of the teams in this league um, so you know the, we'll gladly take the 10 points from these first few games. Yeah, uh, Adam Novakovsky once again proving to be a useful player from the bench. Just how important is he going to be uh, throughout the season, even if he's not regularly starting games? I th you could see where, the way the game was going. You know, we had a counter attack where, where Ben broke down the left and he was struggling, struggling to get the ball out of his feet and the grass ball went to Rowe and he's you know on a normal sort of slick surface. He gets out of his feet and passes it to Lewis who's through on goal, but it just got sticky and it was hard to play. So we wanted to go a bit more direct. Um, you know, Bees is great as a target man or a, a, a runner in behind, so we need to get the ball forward a bit quicker to Adam and, and play off him, and, and it worked well. Like I said, we had, we had good chances after he, after he came on, and um, you know, we, we sort of give, it, give us a different kind of threat to him than, than what we've had in most of the games so far. So, yeah, Adam's a popular lad in the dressing room, he wants to play, um, and he'll, be, you know, he'll, get, he'll get his chances as the season goes on, and he certainly made a, a positive impact for us today.